So why didn't nobody tell me? Why didn't nobody tell me that nail art could be this easy? Yeah, you see the caption, you see the title, trace paper. We use actual art trace paper to make nail art. Girl, let's get into this look. I am so mind blown. I'm never doing nail art another way. I'm just saying. So to start off, we just took whatever image, whatever stock image we wanted to use. Uh, for this design, our client was looking for uh, lacrosse nails um, in support of a team that she follows. Um, and for this look, we literally took that image, we traced it onto the tracing paper. And right here you'll see me taping it down so that I'm able to properly get that shape where I want it without that paper moving. Okay, once you have your image you want, um, like I said, you have the shape on the trace paper itself, you want to actually um, go to the back of it with the pencil so that the, the image that you're tracing back over will show up here. So you'll see me with this orange pen going back over the drawing itself and just making sure I get all of those lines, every single detail that I want to show up on the nail itself. Right now, this is literally the moment of truth when I pull that tape off. I didn't know what was gonna be under here. But to my surprise, I was actually quite satisfied at how the image did show up. Um, now, the line itself was very faint. I did realize that when, in, when you're tracing these um, designs, the lighter the background, the better, uh, just to note that. Um, you'll see that whenever I go into the other finger. It does have a darker background and I did notice the difference between the two, how well it's shown up. Um, but you'll see me just going over here with a pencil and retracing that shape, making sure those lines are nice and clear for me to see um, so that they're ready for whenever I have to go back over it with that black gel polish to do the correct line art for the nail itself. Once again, you'll see me do the same thing itself. Again, I just wanna make sure you guys know if you are gonna use trace paper, you do have to take um, a pencil to the back of it and just kind of shade that area or wherever you will trace from. Um, once you have that shaded, you'll be able to trace onto the nail. Don't make the mistake that I did forgetting to make that back of it shaded. Because um, right here, like I said, you're just tracing out the design itself. The only part that will show up is wherever you are tracing here. Um, so just be very mindful of that. It does take up some time, but um, it's very quick to shade the background of the image itself. It doesn't show through the paper and you're still able to um, make sure you have the design that you want on the nail. So again, just make sure you shade the back of the trace paper um, just with your pencil so that the design will show up. You'll see when I pull out this tape, I am devastated. I'm like, wait, why isn't this showing up? I just did it once. Why is it not doing it again? And then I realized that I never trace the, the pencil onto the back. So of course, it doesn't have anything to, uh, to transfer over. 
because it's just all the image on one side. So you'll see me off camera tracing that really quickly and just making sure those lines are um, on the back so that it will trace that pencil ink onto the other side. It took me a moment because <laughs> I was like, what is going on? But um, it's an easy mistake. Just be mindful of it itself. Um, like I said, it doesn't show through the other image or where you're trying to trace. It just is on the background of the nail, um, the part that is touching to the nail so that whenever you redraw over those lines, that is the part that will show up onto the nail. You've seen it on the first one that I did. I'm gonna let you guys watch through the second little portion of this um, and then, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Like this completely changed the nail art game for me. Once you have all of your designs traced on, um, you just pull out your gel art or your gel polishes itself, excuse me, whichever colors you're deciding to do on your nail look. Um, so this is the other finger uh, for the other hand. Um, you'll be able to see what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to do a lacrosse Texas team logo. I would say with this trace design or really just nail art itself, the harder, or excuse me, the smaller the design is, the harder it will be. And there's probably some things I would do differently next time, like maybe start in from the, the, the middle or the inward part of the design and then going out. I realized that later on that it's kind of harder to write over and trace over um, the nail that I didn't want. So that was the thing. You can kind of see what the logo is looking like here in this photo. Um, that's kind of in a snippet of my iPad, but you'll see like different little stencils that I have um, in the trace paper prepared, honey. I had every single layer that was on there and I was like, all right, layer one, layer two, layer three, but the pencil doesn't go over the gel as easy as it goes over um, the just the, the buffed acrylic. Um, in the background so just keep that in mind if you guys are doing that type of nail look um, but you'll see me going into it and kind of going from each nail using the trace design that I planned and then um, using the, the, the gel art itself excuse me the gel to go ahead and outline those designs so you can really see here, um, like I said, the, the bigger the line work is on the design you're looking to do, I think the cleaner it comes out. So I definitely will be using this on like bigger designs, maybe like faces um, and different like names and whatnot, but probably making it a lot bigger and not too smaller. So just keep that in mind. The smaller it is, the harder it is for you to get your brush in there and making those little baby lines unless you bet you bet bet or if you have a very tiny little brush and a lot of time on your hands by all means <laughs> i've honestly there's a few different nail ladies that i'll that i follow on my instagram and they use even smaller brushes than these and they usually make their nails like an entire canvas it is beautiful i'm working there but um <laughs> we are starting where we are um, and yeah, I just wanted to share this like really unique tutorial that I don't see out there that much. Um, like who do you know is actually using art tools, um, to make nail art. I've seen people use acrylic paint. I've seen people use different, you know, like acrylic brushes, um, to get their nail look, but I've never seen trace paper. It literally blew my mind when I um, thought that, that I didn't think it was going to work. But when it did work, I was like, oh, say less. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go any other way. I think this is like a must. Um, so you'll see me just go on an outline with this gel polish. Once those designs are traced on those nails. Um, again, this, the background of the nails is just acrylic itself. It's buffed. It's shined. There's no gel polish or base gel on the bottom. It's just the acrylic. And I noticed that lighter colors, it goes over a little bit better than it does darker colors as far as tracing that, those, um, those backgrounds on there. Oh 
always use your finger or another thing as an anchor whenever you are drawing on. You can see my little pinky finger. It is like an anchor to my, uh, my pointer finger on my other hand. Just so I can say you're really still trying to align uh, that design as much as I can. But I'm so happy, especially how this hand came out. The other hand, I was like, mm, it could be better, but it was a learning process. But I do, I do realize that, like I said, the thicker the line is, or the almost like simpler the design is, the easier. The more fine details you have with this trace paper, um, being that you can't go over it too much, it, it definitely started to come out a little bit more like bled through and not as, as clear as I wanted it originally, but this look was still a win. I loved it so much. Okay, now you'll see me going in with layer number two for um, the lettering. Again, the back of it is sketched on. I am trimming this trace paper to be even smaller and then splitting it in half because the nail design itself was across two different nails. Um, so you'll see it um, slowly pan out and become the full look. Um, these letters were very, very hard to do as far as making sure they were in the right place. Um, they were showing up and different stuff like that. So it just made it a little bit harder with having that previous uh, gel there, but it is a learning process itself and definitely still a win, uh, something to do as far as making sure your nail art comes out the way you want for sure. Y'all are wondering, what is this pink thing that keeps popping up? It's my head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had a bonnet on my head and my big old head is in the way. <laughs> but you'll see me struggling with this hand, trying to really get those lines to show up because I really want to get those, those lines to show in that gel polish. But for some reason, pencil and gel polish does not lay right over top of each other. So they don't show up as clear. You can see it in that little snippet there. It's very hard to see the lettering, but I was like, you know what? Let's just keep going. Since I could barely get the pencil to show up over the gel polish, you'll see me going back in uh, with a little bit more of the pencil itself, trying to make those lines thicker. And I was like, you know what? Let's just start the, the black polish and just do the background border and hope for the best. <laughs> so I'm out here outlining these small little letters. Very, very hard to do, but it came out okay. 
I'll let y'all keep watching. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Um, but I just, like I said, just keep that in mind if you do want to look like this. With the tracing paper, the smaller the design, the more mindful I think you should be. I think what I would try next time, even if I'm doing a small design, I would go from the, the, the inside. So, say if like, it's a face, I will start with the eyeballs and then work my way out. Because you can always paint around. But um, putting the gel polish, or excuse me, putting the pencil on top of the gel polish, the pencil lines didn't show up as much. So just kind of winging it as much as I could with the, the background that I did see. So just keep on watching. If you guys have any questions or um, if you have any comments, put them in the comment bar below. If you would do something different, let me know what you guys would do. Because I don't see many tutorials out there doing this, so I just thought it was a very cool technique to try to do and different. And honey, it could change the game, if we're honest.
You'll see me finishing up some of the final touches on these lacrosse sticks. I think they came out so cute. Um, I really love how these little clip art things came out. Um, and I'll also finish up the three and the other one as well. I will always be my biggest critic. I think most nail techs are. Um, you'll see me in here um, with the second lacrosse stick. And some of those lines were like a little bit too thick, thicker than what I was going for. So um, I just quickly wiped it with some alcohol and then redraw them. Whenever I did wipe with the alcohol, it removed the pencil. So the pencil outline I was going with. So it is a little bit different from when I had it, but I did have some of the markings still there, so I just worked with what I got. Um, Here you'll see me finishing up the nail look itself, filling in those white letters. That is how the font of the design of the, the logo looked itself. Um, I think for next time I probably would start with the letters and then do the outline of the letters, which is that black area, and then do the, the yellow border. Um, but I would probably start from the inside and then go out with bigger designs like this um, with very fine little lines like this as well. Um, but this is the final look guys. Tell me what you think. Would you do this? Would you try this method? Let me know. Mm -hmm.